Hi, my name is Professor Steve Fink, and this uh, is the video that introduces the subject of inflammatory, allergic, and autoimmune diseases. Uh, and our first thought might be, what do any of those, what do those three ca categories of diseases have in common? And the answer is, all three of them are largely managed using corticosteroids. Let's take a look and we'll look at the uh, lecture outline. Now again, as usual, you may wish to uh, print out uh, the lecture outline to uh, follow. Uh, so uh, the inflammatory diseases of which there is uh, hundreds and hundreds include bronchial asthma, which is related to in chronic inflammation of the bronchial airways, bursitis, dermatitis, myositis, itis of course means inflammation, osteoarthritis, which we've mentioned under the arthritis uh, video is associated with inflammation due to repeated trauma or injury, stomatitis, thrombophlebitis. These again are commonly managed with uh, corticosteroids, especially the more severe forms. Uh, allergic reactions uh, include allergic rhinitis or hay fever, conjunctivitis, an allergic reaction of the eye, erythema multiforme, uh, in the mouth, uh, sinusitis, urticaria, uh, that's hives, and eczema. These are all examples of allergic reactions, commonly managed with corticosteroids, uh, and if they're uh, on the skin uh, or in the oral cavity, commonly topically uh, with uh, uh, something like uh, cordate or something else uh, related. Uh, autoimmune diseases. So there are hundreds of autoimmune diseases where the immune system attacks part of the person's own body. Uh, celiac disease involving the digestive tract, uh, the intestines, Crohn's disease, uh, autoimmune attack on the small intestine, uh, Graves' disease, an autoimmune attack on the thyroid gland, Guillain-Barre syndrome, autoimmune attack on the nervous system, lichen planus, uh, that's an autoimmune uh, disorder uh, that can appear in the mouth, Lupus erythematosus, another autoimmune disease involving the skin and other organs. MS, multiple sclerosis, an autoimmune attack on the nervous system. Myasthenia gravis, an autoimmune attack on the skeletal muscles of the body. Uh, Pemphigus vulgaris, another autoimmune disease, can appear in the oral cavity. Uh, psoriasis, autoimmune attack on the skin and elsewhere, including the joints. Rheumatic heart disease, autoimmune attack on the uh, endocardium and valves of the heart. Rheumatoid arthritis, an autoimmune attack on the joints of the body. Children's syndrome, autoimmune attack on the salivary glands. Ulcerative colitis, an autoimmune attack on the large intestine. There are many, many others. Uh, on the next page, we use the example of MS, uh, of the uh, multiple sclerosis, an autoimmune attack on the nervous system. Uh, to identify some of the symptoms. These symptoms can be shared among other autoimmune diseases, including lupus and myasthenia gravis. And uh, we listed at the bottom uh, some uh, oral health considerations uh, and th uh, that uh, should be taken into account in impairing a patient's ability to care for themselves, including uh, maintain oral health and oral hygiene. Now, we said that what all of these conditions, uh, uh, in, inflammation, allergic reactions, and autoimmune diseases have in common is they are commonly managed or treated uh, using corticosteroids. So uh, what you have here is a video of me giving a formal lecture presentation on corticosteroids when I'm teaching pharmacology. The lecture outline that I refer to is right here. I listed as 12 corticosteroid drugs. It's a PDF file. You can download it. You can print it out and follow along in my lecture. So to whatever extent you would like to review corticosteroids and their very important uses, uh, they have, uh, they're used not only in medicine, but in dentistry as well uh, to treat inflammatory disorders. Uh, so I would encourage you to take a look and watch that uh, video. So that uh, concludes the uh, brief introduction to the subject of inflammatory, allergic, and autoimmune diseases. And we'll see you in the next video.